think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass smokers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be tapping. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get No lie to be real <laughs> Small business, I don't sell drugs To be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat malls That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Alright, DSG, look um, We gotta get it to the next video so we got to make it just as wild as the minorities video should have been. I thought the video was going to be wild, but since that wasn't wild enough, we got to watch this video. So shout out to One Cloud Nine. He actually commented on the video when we reacted to his shit before. I said it was funny. So thank you to him. Here's a video called Why People Are So Obsessed With Stepsis Videos. Y'all know he's talking about porn. So let's go ahead and see what this video is about right here. Why people are obsessed with stepsis videos. All right, bro, Pete. Why the fuck are stepsister videos so popular, bro? Why are they? I don't they? want no bullshit ass corporate ass statistic ass answers. I want some actual fucking truth. Some real God. stuff. Right. Why do people love just getting off to stepsister corn? Because let's just be real here. We all watch corn, all right? You know what I mean? There is not a single person watching this video who has not watched corn before. Is there a single person? Don't lie either. Don't lie either. I think it may be one person that I'm thinking of, they but not nah, they, they watch porn too. Knowing damn well he won't have a body in the afterlife. Only real DB's fans know what I'm talking about. Where's the N words? Lord Ketsukami, thank you for the 22 months, bro. What's up? Uh, was it? Uh, what, what? Was it your mind? You lost a uh, fellow. What the hell you talking? No, 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 no. It was my my data, on my computer. But yeah, everybody in here done watch porn before. You ain't gotta lie. Everybody in here, bro, if you haven't, if you got a Twitter, you damn sure watch porn. You watched it. You ain't got to sit there and fake it. All of us, we done seen it. You know what I'm saying? Now, that don't mean that we all watch stepsister videos, but everybody in here done watch some porn. It is what it is, bro. Or let's just be real. But if you look at the stats that I don't have for you right now because I don't feel like getting them shit. A lot of people like in this porn, and it shows because it's one of the most popular genres. Yeah, the whoa from steps is that nah that it do be crazy, but is that really is that necessarily incest if it's the stepmom? Because obviously they're not related, like yeah, but but nah, people do be into that family. Oh, um, step brother, step dad. But, but you see they're all white though. Everybody see they're all white. You see, you see he ain't posing no black. You see what I'm saying? Like at least we got some sense. We be knowing, ah right, yeah, that's a little crazy. We ain't gonna do all that. All white. No even fucking cousins. Guarantee those are Hispanics. Like, it's not even just disgusting. It's just weird. Like, is that what we really want? Does everybody just want to fuck their stepsister? Because, I mean, whenever you go to those certain websites, what do you always see on the first front page of your For You page? Stepsis gets stuck in a laundry machine. Stepmom needs help from her step. Nah, he is not lying, bro. If you get on any joint, that's like some of the first joints that be popping up, bro. For real. Step son, his stepdad felt a little bit lonely today, so he relies on his stepdaughter. Which that is, is crazy. Weird as fuck. But I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. I've honestly always wondered why you see that shit. Or even where the fuck did this trend start from? Well, I got the answer. Let me play y'all a video. I just had a lot of my videos like went viral. Do you remember the first one that you were like, Oh sh! This is crushing. We all know the video of the washing machine. Me getting stuck. Are in you the, the original? That's her. Wow. Cause it, I can't act like I ain't seen it. I, I like I wasn't like looking like yo, bro. I gotta go. But I seen it. Y'all gonna sit there and lie? Don't lie. Don't, I'm not gonna say what race, what people. It, all white. But but I'm just saying like don't 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 get the lying. Y'all seen it, nigga. Bro, bro. Now MJX, don't try that. Don't try that. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it, bro. Thank you, Mr. M Mr. Eden. Don't Did leave it. At least, at least you gonna keep it a band, nigga. Is my goat. See, I ain't know her name, bro. That's crazy that you know her name. You were you a real uh you a real porn watcher. Yeah. You're the original getting stuck in the washing yeah. machine? Yeah, what? they tried to No NFT. I Change think it's Instagram close to like a hundred right million now. views on Are you serious? Yeah. Million? Something like I, I really do be wondering, like, how how do like how how do like I, I just gotta say it like how how do porn stars still having like fans? Like when like when niggas walk up to him like I'm a fan of your 
And it's like, bro, you just be beating your dick all day to my shit. Hey, but but I, I know it's like they job and everything. Because like when people walk up on me and be like, dude, I fucking love your content. And it's like, yeah, you know, I made you laugh. I couldn't imagine like making somebody no, no homo. Like, because obviously it'd be like a dude, probably no homo. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like think about it. How many girls walking up to Johnny Sin saying, oh, I'm a fan of your work? You know it's niggas. And it's like, bro, you a fan of this dude's dick? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta really keep it a band, bro. Like that. Hold the You're phone. the original? I yeah. was, we said that earlier filming this sketch, and I was just like, I thought that was just like a meme in general. They, You're they the OG? Tried, yeah, they've tried to redo it so many. It was the ripped yoga pants thing. How did that come about? Did you like come, come about? Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we. Hold on, what? Mr. Eden and Don't Leave. I mean, Mr. Eden and Leave said, Daquan, do you think male porn star has fans? Do you think there are niggas uh, uh, waiting for that next drop? Yes. The hell? Yes. What? Obviously, yes. Bro, what? These niggas don't be like, oh man, I'm a fan of all the girls that this dude hits. Nah. They be a fan of the dude. They like the way he hit them. They're like, bro, it just is what it is, bro. I was a Wesley Pipes fan, nigga, no homo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. But it wasn't on some like, oh man, yo, bro, he, he taught me how to talk to these bitches. <laughs> like that, man. Look, mess. Like, don't lie, y'all niggas know damn well y'all lying. If y'all ain't watch no Wesley Pipes wilding on these bitches, yeah, take that, yeah, take that, yeah, yeah. You like this dick, don't you? Smacking this bitch's ass on. I like, stop playing, bro. Y'all know damn well, nigga. I was a fan of Wesley Pipes, nigga. It is what it is, nigga. Nigga was talking that shit to these bitches. That nigga dread. So you see, now you like this dick. You see what I'm saying, like, bro. You a fan of the dude, dick. That's what I'm saying. That's why I knew, like, you you know, you a fan of his dick. Why are you going for a dude with, like, the biggest dick, bro? I told you, I was a fan of Wesley Pikes. The niggas wilding on these bitches. Putting his hand, I mean, his, his foot on these bitches' head. hitting from the back and shit like that. I was like, yo, I was a fan of this nigga wilding on bitches. Shut your and, fat ass up. Yo, what's good, DSG bad, and Daquan? What we on? What, Had what, to pop what? in to say I'm living one of my dreams right now. The six that? feet one inch, two hundred and fifty pound football chick at the gym said she gonna figure for my shit, so I got to up the honey pack and honey to make it through. Let, let, let's not get used to that. Let, let's not do that. Just just try to do it naturally, because then your body's gonna get used to that and you're gonna need it. So let, let's try not to do that, Skywalker. All know what video she's talking about, and if you're a real gooner, you probably already recognize who that is. Okay, we gotta watch that video where the gooner is, cause I still don't know what it is. In that video. Don't tell me in the comments, please don't tell me mods. Please delete it if you see somebody try to explain it. Reason why is because you watched that video. You see, when I started planning for this video, originally I was just gonna come out and bash the stepsister trend. Saying that this trend is disgusting, it's horrible, it's damaging the youth, which I know, which I still think it does. Bad. What was that? What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? Do you need some money? You were a fan of a dude's meat? That's downright devious work. Down disastrously. Goon supreme ass niggas. I beg your pardon? The Johnny Sins teacher threesome was my first join. That shit had my 14 year old self turned. My first joint that I watched on the internet was Sarah J Big Sausage Pizza. I ain't gonna lie. But y'all know that when I told y'all about it in my stories. I know, which I still think it does. But as I was preparing, I realized something. I have probably watched more stepsister videos than I could possibly care. Not me. See, I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. That wasn't my category. And I and I hate to say it because y'all just going to call me out for it. But y'all know it. DSG, go ahead. What's my category Did y'all know I was going to? It just is what it is, bro. I, it, it is what it is, man. Like, I'm just going to keep it a thousand. One shot, went live. You you up there. Do you need some money? Saying, like, First one I watched I, was I'm, Mariah it, Mills it, makes it, a pizza delivery. I don't even fuck with her. I'm not going to hold y'all, bro. The, my category was fat bitches. Grandmas and, like, fat grandmas. Uh, like, Super Saiyan BBW joints. Like, uh, yeah, it just was what it was, bro. I don't know what it was. Crystal Clear? That was like the joint I loved. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Y'all know the black joint, Crystal Clear. I yeah. She had them long titties. That stomach. I don't know what it was. It was just like I know that stomach is having some good ass pussy under there. And it was just I don't know what it was. And it was always wet. It, it was fire. You know what I'm saying? I just 
that was my category. Like grandmas, it, it like, and it's not like I'm like, yo, I'm looking for the, like the oldest joint. I, I don't know, you know. I just, bro, I wasn't looking for no like stepsisters and shit. That wasn't my thing. It was like old, like old bitches and fat bitches. What is is that weird? Is does that make me weird, y'all? Does that make me weird that I was looking for like? Cause I started off normal, like regular joints and shit, and then it was just like I don't know how I got to that, and then I was like the main category I was always looked at was like fat girls and and old bitches. Does that does that make me weird, y'all? It, it it does possibly. I just I don't know it, but it I don't know. I I felt like it was normal, man. It was just like they normal. Do you need some money? You know what I'm saying? Just just Ryan of Kike. And old. I I don't I don't know who Jess Ryan is, but. Yeah, man. I know red, white, and beautiful. I know, uh, it was just like real fat bitches. Like, real fat. Like, it was the amateur joints. I ain't, cause, like, bro, who, who seen the two fat black girls that was, uh, studs? Do you need I don't know if they're studs. They sucking a dick, though. Gummy gum, slop, slop. I'm just saying, like, that, like, bro, what? It's, it's two fat bitches sucking a dick at the same damn time. And that was crucial as hell, man. And, yeah, man. This nigga Lil Sleek said FBG stud. Nigga, chill. Now I gotta use that. Now I gotta use that, nigga. Now I have to use that. I gotta make him a story how I hit a fat bitch in Chicago and called an FBG stud. Now I gotta use that. But yeah, nah, it's like... you need some money? Real big. Alicia star. The light skin joint. Yes, bro. She... I loved her. I don't know what it was, bro. I just love fat bitches. Like, real fat ones. Like, bro. I used to like if they was fat enough... To where, like, the nigga could, like, hug them or, like, grab their stomach, like, when he hitting them and they grab it like this. Not on some, like, you know what I'm saying? You hit the missionary, you got her legs right here. And you just, nah, I'm talking about, like, real fat where you just grab them. And it's like, like, you trying to spirit bomb or command me at his stomach. I don't know what it was, man. I don't think that makes me weird. I think, I ain't gonna lie. I think some of the old bitches, the, cause, like, it, cause that's when I found out, like, I don't know if I saw crackhead porn first or old bitches sucking dick with no teeth first, but then I got in the, okay, yeah, never mind. I'm sorry. What? And you have to. Who the fuck is yeah, weak? I, I know what you're finna say right now. Ew, Clow, you're disgusting. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you watch that sibling content? Oh, you're a nasty motherfucker. Well, I have a real sister. That's nasty. See, Cast the Beast, right? That's why, that's why I kept it pushing, because, yeah, that was it, it was, it was getting a little crazy. You know, why the fuck does that video have over 100 million views, bitch? Like, some of y'all gotta be lying here, bro. And then I know niggas are gonna start saying, oh, I was just trying to see what the hype is about. I didn't even stroke my shit to it. Let's be fucking real, bitch. Like, see, see, I ain't one of them niggas that lie about it. I ain't one of them niggas that lie, bro. I tell y'all the God honest truth when it come down to this. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? B before I knew about Natalia, you feel me? It was like, yo, I thought it was just regular. And then I'm like, oh, wow, okay. All right, I ain't know what was going to lead to that. And then when it led to that, I was like, I right, bet. Now I know. Whenever I'm looking up deep throat porn, I just know, like, yo, you you off limits. I ain't realize it. But yeah, I got myself out the way. I, it just was what it was, bro. I, I didn't know. I saw, you know what I'm saying, going to work and then, you know what I'm saying, turned around. And then it was like, oh, shit, there's a dick there. And yeah, that's when I was chilling. See, Wavy Chris, you still on it. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like... But I just, I, as soon as I found out, I was like, oh, my bad. You know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah, it just was what it was at the time. It, but I didn't, I wasn't trying to, like, but, yeah, it just, it happened. It just, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, people need to stop lying and acting like they're so high and mighty, bro. Like, we all watched that video. For whatever reason, a good portion of the population likes these videos. And for some reason, we don't actually want to admit it. Which is actually one of the most interesting things about humans. We love doing degenerate shit. When it's time to own up on the degenerate shit that we do, we all want to act like it's disgusting. Like, didn't you know that shit was disgusting when you did it at first? And then we tried- I watched it because it was disgusting. Like, I'm not going to lie, bro. Most of the porn I watched, I watched because it was absolutely disgusting. It was something that I could watch. And then when I'm done, I'm just like, what the fuck did you just watch? Because, I like, you know how you start watching porn and you just like, man, this, it, it ain't hitting no more. And then you got to watch shit that make you think, you need some what money. the fuck am I watching? Cherokee, Carmen Hayes, Pinky, Belladonna, Sarah J. Belladonna. These were the one that caught Bella my Bells. eye. You might be into the Super Saiyan Big Blue Women and I like that's the real okay, fat bro. Bitches. 
Roofing. If you were into things that are clearly unexplainable in public, without feeling a bit of shame, then you was into some weird shit. No, it, it, like, bruh, like, when I say the real fat bitches, like, you seen Crystal Clear. She's fat as hell, but it, it, it's a lot of ass and a lot of titties. It's a lot of stomach, but it's like, they kind of balance each other out. Red, white, and beautiful, her fat ass. Look, it just, it is what it is. I'm a nigga, straight, I, I became a fan of CJ Wright, nigga. No homo, nigga. It's like, I was like, yo, I'm a fan of this nigga. He was fucking all the fat bitches. Straight up, bro. And I became a fan of the nigga because he was hitting all the fat bitches. I like, what the fuck? So straight up, bro, I'm just going to keep it a thousand, nigga. That's exactly what it was, nigga. He was hitting the fat white joints. He was hitting the fat black girls, fat Spanish joints. I'm like, yo, I don't want to be like this nigga. And I don't even know why. It was just like, I just know these fat bitches pussies is hitting. I just know it, bro. The way he was knocking these fat bitches, and he was hitting them all on the same couch. And the fact that they could fit, and then no matter what size they was, I was like, I need a couch with industrial strength like that. Because it was like, how the fuck do all of these, how you knock down all of these fat bitches on this one couch and none of them broke this shit yet? But y'all know what I'm talking about. Sound bro. like a real nigga to me. You see what I'm saying? I think, at least I'm, or at least I'm keeping it in a band, though. I ain't sitting there lying to y'all about it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, like, you see what I'm saying? Coach Sung just said I only hit one big female. And she was going crazy, not going to lie. That's what I'm saying. Kazzy just got up in here. And we talking about his, his cup of tea. I know he going to be like, yo, fuck you, nigga. I don't care. Yo, yo, Kazzy, you lying, bro. You know it. You know you didn't hit these fat bitches. You know Do what you need some money? You ain't got a lot. I can Kick never it. judge unk. I was watching mother-daughter lesbians at one point in my life. A lot of us have been, you know what I'm saying, on, on some crazy sides of porn that we shouldn't be on. But, yeah, um, yep, I done seen a massage once, too. Yep. But, it, but it, 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 yeah, I ain't even going I ain't even gonna keep going. But I'm just saying, man, CJ Wright was hitting all of the fat bitches I wanted to fuck. And it was just, it just is what it is, man. It was like, you know, what I'm, I felt like, it, like I could be him. You know what I'm saying? I felt like we had like common features and shit. And I was like, yo, we definitely got the same taste. Like, like look at all these fat girls. Yo, bro, CJ Wright and uh, Red, Wright and Beautiful. If y'all don't believe me, go look that up right now. Go look that up right now, bro. CJ Wright, CJ W-R-I-G-H-T, and then Red, White, and Beautiful. He knocked that big bitch down. When I saw that joint, I watched every last one of them. I, was it Plumper Pass? I think it was Plumper Pass. That's what it was back then. What's what's the fat bitch channels? It was a few fat bitch channels. It was Plumper Pass, though. I remember that one. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like back then they had the 15 second previews on Plumper Pass. But then all of a sudden, when X videos and came, came out and then consistent internet without dial up. Do you shit. need some money? I saw Violet Myers do a jab the other day. Shut your fat ass up. What the fuck hey, is a jab? Remind me why fat girls go for skinny niggas and built niggas? Asking for the skinny niggas. Because they opposite the track. They don't want to go for the same niggas. They don't want to go for motherfuckers that look like them. What the fuck is a jav, though? What the hell is jav? What the fuck did Violet Myers do? What the fuck is a jav? Jav is Japanese porn? What the fuck does that mean? Japanese adult video? What the fuck? Is that what that means? I want to find that one black girl, and y'all know exactly what I'm talking about when I say this, too. If you looked up deep throat videos on uh, X videos, y'all know that one black girl that was sucking off that white nigga that was going crazy. She was going crazy. She had like little titties, but um, she was like, she was brown skin. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. She went crazy. It was a two minute video. It was two minutes. Bruh, I love her. I need her. I desire her. I, I, like, bro, I, nah, it wasn't even pixelated. Don, Don, that wasn't pixelated. Nah, bro, that, that was some real shit, bro. It, it, just look up Deep Throat, Black Girl, Deep Ebony Deep Throat. Yep, that's what I was looking up, Ebony Deep Throat. That's all you got to do. Look up Ebony Deep Throat. You're going to find it. It's the white girl. Do you need some It's the black girl. She brown skin. It's, it's two minutes. It's two minutes. Kieran, I don't know who that is, but yeah, it, it was a... Uh, Axel Walter said, yo, Daquan, you were too real respect. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a thousand with niggas because you got to think niggas don't, niggas don't be telling the truth like this, bro. Final ENT say, y'all seen the Popeyes? Who ain't seen the Popeyes video? Like, come on, bro. Come on, dog. Nah, Cozy Hendrix, I ain't got a wave cap on right now, bro. You feel me? But yeah, nah, that uh, the joint with that black girl, though. You know, it was like a white background. She's sucking off a white nigga, bro. She was going crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. I gotta, like, paint it off as, like, oh, I was in a moment of weakness. Oh, I was drunk, nigga. Unless you're getting pill Cosby, my boy, you're still conscious okay. and you still remember everything you did. Facts, facts. And some of y'all niggas want to lie. 
Oh, no, nah, I was drunk. You literally got drunk so you could watch that. Like, you know, like, like we, we really got to be all the way real here. I don't beat my dick sober. That's, that's not fun. What? I'm going to have to hit a blunt. I might have to have, you know what I'm saying, at least, at least two, three shots of Henny. You know what I'm saying? Straight. If I'm going to do the Henny and Red Bull, I need at least eight ounces of Henny and Red Bull. I don't beat my dick sober. Give, like if I'm eating the shrooms, the chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Give me six of them. Six of them joints. I'm going crazy. I ain't beat my dick sober since I was a teenager. I, I didn't, I just didn't see the point after. Like, what is the point of me beating my dick sober? Because then I hate myself. I can beat my dick like drunk or high or something like that. And as soon as I'm done, I'm going to do it again, probably. If I beat my dick sober right now, oh, nah. When I'm done, I'm going to be like, yo, you gay as hell. And I, like, it's, it's because I was just like, why the fuck did you do that? Bro, like, you don't get no bitches. Soon as I'm done beating my dick, if I'm sober, that's the first time. I don't get no bitches, nigga. You in here beating your dick. Look at this gay ass nigga, man. You over here beating your little ass dick. Look at you, bro. But if I'm drunk or something, I don't care. Soon as I'm done, I'm just like, all right, do I got another one in me? You feel me? Like, bro, I fell asleep after beating my dick. Not even falling asleep. Yo, bro, have y'all ever been so fucked up while you beating your dick that you, like, immediately go on social media when you done and you don't even realize your dick's still in your hand and then the nut dry up? Like, yo, I'm talking about, like, say, for instance, for the real meat beaters, right? When you beating off and then you know how, like, you try not to get the nut on you. So, like, soon as you beat it, soon as you start nutting, you grab the paper towel, you put it over your dickhead. And then you grab the paper towel and you wrap it all the way around like this, right? Around your dickhead, then you hold it. And then I just sit there and lay down and I'm just like, I'm going through social media. And then when I realize I'm on social media, I realize it when I see like some wholesome ass shit, right? Like I'll be scrolling through, see regular ass posts and shit. And then when I see somebody doing like a cooking video or some shit, I'm like, oh damn, I got my dick in my hand. And that's when I'm like, okay, yeah, I got to get up. You know what I'm saying? You need some money. I fell asleep while beating my shit one time. It happens. I don't know how I say this shit with a straight face. I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't even know how I say this shit with a straight face. Because cause the real niggas in here, no, I'm not lying. Like, all the real niggas in here, no, I'm dead ass not lying, bro. Like, dang it. This is, this and now I'm like Deborah Cox, because how we even get here? Ah! You know how we got here. Because this is this is just what we do as niggas. I'm not going to lie. This is like, nigga, it is what it is. I'm the only nigga that's going to tell you the real shit like this. Because niggas do this. What? You know what I mean? Was did this shit? What the fuck? What? Like literally, you take the paper towel, you wrap it around your shit, and make sure no nut could get on your hand. Or sometimes, if it do get on your hand, it just get right there. But I hate when it gets like here, because that's when it's like, yo, like when you go to wash your hands, you gotta really clean off everything before you wash your hands. Because if you wash your hands with the nut on you, it'd be feeling weird. It's like a weird texture. Like y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Because you really got to wipe the whole shit off with the paper towel first. Dry ass paper towel or a rag or some shit. Or you got to wet that motherfucker and then dry. And then you got to wipe it off first before you wash your hands. Yup. Exo Walters said a weird ass film. Yup. Real shit, nigga. Yo, Bob Barker's boss like, nigga, nigga said, nigga, what the fuck did I just walk into? Yo, bro, it is what it is, nigga. You know how this go. It's real shit, nigga. Okami said, Daquan, why you got a ring? I felt like it looked good with this hoodie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, nigga, you know damn why I ain't married. I wouldn't be married talking like this at least. Shit, but this is real shit though. Nigga, nigga, hold on. J Good JB said, uh, you too real. I'm keeping it in the bag because niggas gonna lie. Niggas ain't gonna tell you shit like this, bro. What? It ain't real as hell, nigga. You beat this shit. You gotta grab the paper towel and shit, wrap it around. Sometimes you, yo, sometimes I literally just let it sit there. Bro, but the only, like, bro, you ever like think you about to, you know what I'm saying? You think you about to splash. And then all of a sudden it don't happen. You think you about to start squirting and then it don't happen. Then it just leak and you just like, man, fuck it, bro. And then and then when it hits your leg, that's when you wake up because it be like that cold feeling. Like, bro, it's like it's warm as shit, right? But as it's going down, it's going down slow because it wasn't that much that came out. And then you like this. And then when that motherfucker hits your leg, you're like, oh, shit, no, nigga, what the fuck? And then you wake up and then you're like, ah, right, yeah, let me go clean myself off.
It just like I said, niggas ain't gonna ever be this real. I'm just gonna keep it a thousand. I'm just saying, like it's just real shit, bro. Niggas, we all done been through this, man. So that's nothing but an excuse. The real reason why we're ashamed real to admit shit like this is simply because we're scared of what people are gonna think about it. Uh, okay, little cats, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, little cats. I'm done. But my problem with this shit is that if a hundred million people saw this video, Let's more than likely number. the people that you're afraid of getting judged by are on the same type of timing, bro. And besides fact. the fact of embarrassment, I'm gonna just keep it real. I have no siblings. I've never had no siblings. I don't know what it's like to live with. And Thu Straw said he used to. There's no way in hell I'd beat my dick with a condom. What the hell? Person around my age. Never in my life. That's not my parents. So I truly don't understand the concept of siblings. Furthermore, step siblings. But I'ma just keep it a hundred percent real right now. If you're telling me, if I had an attractive, thick girl around, me, I'm just gonna say this, bro. Look. What's <clears throat> up? <laughs> So I wasn't gonna say that, but shout out my nigga Earthbound for me with the 10 gifteds, nigga. W's in the chat, DSG. My nigga Earthbound for me always going crazy, nigga. W's in the chat. Earthbound for me, 473 gifteds on the channel, nigga. Thank you, my nigga. W's in the chat. My nigga always going crazy, bro. Thank you, my nigga. And con yo, you know I see you, bro, because you know I see your stories, nigga. Yo, congrats on your progress, bro. I see you, my nigga. I see you. I saw your back. No homie. Do you need some money? Bro, I see the striations and shit coming in. I see that, bro. I have returned from eternal slumber. DSG what up, Jay Dollar? Good to be back for a little bit. What How up, my nigga? Stream going? It's going good, bro. So, so look, bro. Yo, my nigga Vlad Place. Thank you for that another gifted, my nigga. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Always going crazy. Thank you, my nigga Vlad. So thank you, bro. My nigga Romano Boss with a gifted too, nigga. Let's go, nigga. Thank you. Thank you. Ones where your meat is half hard. You nut in three strokes, and it feels like a tiny tingle. Do you need some money? N nigga, I had a wet dream as a teenager and woke up. It was all over my torso and bed. Y'all ever not want to beat off? But like you just do it? Because you're bored or something? And your shit like not really getting up? And you keep beating it? And then like you try and get it up? <laughs> I'll be laughing, bro. I'll be laughing sometimes. Because like I'm a circumcised, so like... I'll take my foreskin and just be like, <laughs> like pinching it at the top, like trying to get my shit up, bro. And it just don't work. And I'm just like, come on, dog. You, this is what we do. <laughs> like, you gonna do this to me right now, bro? That should be so embarrassing, bro. Like, no bullshit. <laughs> this should be embarrassing, bro. It's like you be trying, man, <laughs> but it just don't work. You try and get the shit up, and then like. And, and then the worst ones is when you get it hard enough. Don't sit your fat ass up, you don't get no bitches! I just got here and we talking about beating it. Yay, this is DSG, all this, right. You know that. You know that, Ramada. You know that, bro. You know that. Nah, I hate when it get like hard enough and you got to keep squeezing it, though. And then you should be like this. <laughs> like, every time you just squeeze that motherfucker. And then you try and get it to stay up, but it just don't. And it's like, it'd be really shit, man. Cause it, it, like the top really just be like this. And it's like, how's it doing that? It'd be really shit, man. Like y'all don't understand, bro. All the women here, this is really what, this is what we going through as niggas. This should be, you saw me niggas in here saying it's too real? Cause y'all niggas know, y'all niggas know we ain't gonna lie about it, bro. We gonna tell the real truth about this shit, nigga. Earth by Remy, look, we always, the interest is what it is, nigga. This, this is straight up real shit. All right, so look, but back to the topic of bro talk about stepsisters. Hey, straight up, dog. Look, I got siblings. You feel me? I ain't never in my life even thought about my sister nothing like that ever in my life, right? Where's the N words? I, nigga, that's weird. But dog, if I'm chilling, right? My dad, he fucking with some random bitch, or my mom fucking with some random nigga, and he got a daughter, and she the same age as me, and she bad or something. How is this incest? I don't even know this bitch. This, this bitch is this motherfucker's daughter. Yo, nigga, what? I'm gonna knock this bitch. She in my crib too. We gotta fake like we siblings, bitch. We ain't no real siblings. Hey, step, bitch. I'm a step in your motherfucking room and fuck you. We fuck siblings. We ain't, we ain't no, we ain't no fucking step brothers, step sister. We, we fuck brothers and fuck sisters. That's it. Fuck out. Fuck. I look like no bullshit. Like man, you got me fucked up. The thing is, I ain't never. Yo, Zavo 3K, my nigga. Thank you for the nine months, my nigga. Too real. You know it, bro. You know this shit real. But nigga, for real, bro. Nigga, that ain't that ain't you. Not my blood. You just, say, that's like, if I saw you on the street, you just a random bitch. Your father or your mother is fucking my mom or dad. That's it. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I'ma still light your ass up. What the hell wrong with you, nigga? 
beating that motherfucker back in on this bitch. You got me fucked up. Like, like, and especially if you bad, if you fat too. I ain't gonna lie, cause I know how good fat bitch pussy is. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, the lights can always go off. You feel me? But yeah, like straight up, you you getting hit. Okay. I was beaten not my that, that. once and sneezed so hard and busted at the same time. Okay, so I see that that I, I can't even act like that ever happened to me. That, that that's crazy. But like, but I understand it. I just that ain't never happened to me. But um, yeah, like I ain't never do that. That 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 sound crazy. That that definitely sound crazy. My age that lived five steps down the hall from me, who was very willing and absolutely down. I'm gonna just keep it very real with you, bro. I'm not there ain't no way I'm not fucking. I'm gonna pretend you didn't. Say Facts. That. Actually, let me change what I said. You ain't got to. It's real shit. Most niggas would. The thing is, niggas gonna lie for morality. Niggas are gonna lie because of their online image, because of the digital footprint. I ain't gotta lie. What? I ain't gotta lie about it. If I have a stepsister that is, you're not related to me by blood at all. You were just some random girl and now you live with me? I'm fucking the hell out you. The fuck? If I, what? If you want to fuck me and you look good, you ain't even got to look good. I'm not going to lie. You ain't even got to look good. You have to literally just be fuckable. That's it. You just ain't got to, you just ain't got to be like retarded or look weird or some shit. I'm not going to lie. You getting knocked down. You getting thrashed. Because it's easy. Niggas will always go for the most convenient pussy. Niggas just like lying about it. Like I said, niggas on here might get on here and lie. I'm going to go for it if it's convenient. If that shit look like she's fuckable enough, that's it. That's all I need. I don't need you to look good. I could drink. You feel me? I don't need... We can always turn the lights off. Shit like don't talk either, especially if you sound fat. Like I like fucking fat bitches that don't sound fat. Like the fat bitches with like the fat names, they don't usually sound fat. I don't want a fat bitch that sound fat. You know what I'm saying? And I can do that. You feel me? But yeah, man, you you right down the hole from me. I'm knocking your ass down. Fuck, I look like not doing that. You ain't related to me. Man, niggas just like lying. I ain't gonna sit there and lie about this shit. I would want to. I don't know if I would actually go through. Because he lying. This nigga wanna sit there and lie for the internet. I ain't got to lie about it. I'm doing that. Off the rip, nigga. And it don't matter how she look as long as she fuckable enough. If that bitch ugly as hell but she got a body on her, guess what? I'm knocking her down. Straight up. It is what it is. Do you need some money? Throw them bras the and throw them drawers. He ain't lying. I'm just saying, real shit. Niggas like lying too much about it. Niggas are, oh man, no, she got to look good. You ain't never fuck a girl that look good in general. You ain't fuck a girl at all talking about she got to look good. Man, bro, she got to look like a girl. That's it. Fuck I look like, man. I'm knocking her ass down, bro. Fuck that right down the hall from me. Man, shit. It's me. I'm niggas. Man, shit, it's me too. Okay. Let me explain why. See, the big thing about step siblings, right? There's a reason why they're your step sibling. Your parents are fucked. Not only are they fucking, they're fucking married. So, like, in general, it would just be a weird thing to have going on. I mean, it ain't weird to me. I don't know you. Parents are married. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, right? Look, I could knock you down until, like, our parents have a baby. Then I, I ain't, I'm good off that after that. I can't do it after that. I'm lying for the internet. I don't know. I ain't never had that. I ain't never going through that. I ain't never going through that. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think it would even cross my mind. I, I don't know. Cause I, I can't lie to y'all and act like, you know what I'm saying? I would have thought about it or something, but it's like once like my kids, like I mean, your, my parents have a kid, like we got a brother or a sister in common. That's when it's like, all right, this is this a little weird now. But if we was fucking, if we was fucking before they had a kid, shit, shit why we gotta stop? What, what changed? They got, they got a kid. We ain't got one. What the fuck? Like that's their kid. Like, fuck that little motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know that little motherfucker. Fuck them. Straight up. But that's if we was already well, you fucking. Need some money. If we weren't fucking already. Twist. She got a hysterectomy. Hey, bro, it is what it is. But like, if, if she, it, you know what, man, it's getting crazy. Married and fucking all the time, and you're fucking all the time. But to all my guys, you can't sit here and tell yeah, me. Yeah, Okami, that's why I just said fuck it. Straight face, if you had Tyler as a step sibling, you wouldn't have me. The nigga had to bring him Tyler. What about Sarah J? Nigga, uh, Earthbound Remy said, depending on how long we know each other, for me, like if we grew up uh, together like six or seven years old, then nah. But if we teens or some shit, yes. See, 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 look. If I grew up with you, I'm going to feel like you a sibling. I can't do that. If your, your fucking family 
I mean, your, your mom or your dad, come fuck with my mom or dad. And, and we 15 years old. That's like the horniest time of, of our lives as men. From like 13 to like 22, 23. Like not 22, probably. Because then after like 22, we start thinking, all right, we got we to gotta do some shit with our lives. Like we got to get goals and shit. From like 13 to 22, nah, I'm fucking. I'm horny as hell. That's the horniest times of our lives, bro. What? Can y'all remember? Bro, all of the niggas in here. Y'all remember when you first hit puberty, you could literally nut nonstop. Bro, I could go back to back. If I'm beating my dick, as soon as I nut, I'm I'm going again immediately. I'm not wasting no time. Especially back then with the dial-up porn. Oh, hell no. I'm getting myself out the way. Wipe it off. Go right again. Wipe it off. Right again. 15 seconds. That's all I need. 15 seconds at a time. Horny as shit. It's the horniest times of your life. You just keep fucking. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that parent factor is a big thing. And there's also other factors that go into it, too. What, what, Let me what are you talking about? So what recently, me and my stream were talking about this exact topic. But on stream, I told my chat two stories. By the way, these are real life circumstances. I want to tell you a lot. Okay, for the first story, I remember I went to school with these two people that were step siblings. They were in the same grade. They looked very, very similar, but they were both attractive. So one day I came into school and I asked the brother who would he like at this school. He said a couple. <laughs> Did this nigga splash come on a high school, bro? Did this nigga just splash come on a high school, dog? That were step siblings. The they were fuck? in the same grade. They looked very, very similar, but what they were the both fuck? attractive. So one day I came into school and I asked the brother. This nigga just splash come on a high school. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? Who did he like at this school? Bro. He said a couple names, but then I brought up his stepsister that I didn't know was his sister at what the time. The fuck he quickly said, nigga, nah, bro. ew, that's my stepsibling. And just waved the idea off initially. Now, if you know me, I ain't ever scared to ask an uncomfortable question. And so as soon as he told me that information, I already knew what I was gonna ask him. So of course I asked him the question. Did he hit? Have you hit yet? And when did you hit it, he real sick, real sick, nigga. actually got mad. Now in his anger, I was a little bit confused because I thought, you feel me? Because I seen that shit on Pornhub. That was the only thing you should really be doing with your stepsister. And if you're not doing that shit, then you're just missing out on an opportunity of a fucking life. But turns out that they this both became step siblings. Like when I can still go non-stop till bat number seven break. A nigga might be sweating like Vegeta after a final flash, but nigga. best believe I am nigga. still gonna be busting a blast. I, see, I, I, like, I, seven or eight is crazy. Like, bro, if I'm beating my shit, I can go about three. Back to back, I can, I can hit, I can hit at least three. But I, nah, not seven or eight. Mister Eden uh, Oliva said, "You a real nigga if you beating your shit. Look up and got surprised at how much time uh passed. I used to uh be like, damn, it's been forty minutes." You know what's crazy about that? That's really shit. Cause yo, bro, yo, DSG, y'all all tell me, tell me if I'm the only gonna get done this. I can't even say that. I know y'all have done this. Have y'all ever been beating your shit and then like you beating it to a video that you know is fire? But I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna give it a thousand, nigga. You got like you got like seven or eight tabs open, nigga, and you like yo, this one is so fire. But I gotta get all of these out the way, nigga. It's like you be trying. You like, hold on. And then you feel like you about to nut and you like, yo, I gotta get, I gotta hit the next tab. I gotta. And then when you nut, you're like, fuck, fuck. And then you just like, yo, fuck it. I'm still gonna get it in. And you just do it. You get every tab out the way, nigga. It just is what it is. Hey, nigga. Y'all know I'm not lying, nigga. Y'all see exactly. I'm glad y'all keeping it a band up in, nigga. Real sick, nigga. Like, bruh, you get mad as hell, like, fuck. Cause you know you gotta beat your shit again. It's not you thinking, fuck, I beat my shit. Nah, I nutted on this one. I didn't mean to. You like, fuck, now I gotta do it again. Cause you get mad as hell knowing you gotta beat your shit again, nigga. You don't want to. You want to just get one nut out the way, but you're like, fuck, now I gotta beat my shit again. Game. Have you ever beat game. your shit in the shower until the hot water runs out? Nah, I haven't, but I'm not gonna hold you. When I first discovered body conditioner, hey, DSG, for everybody in here who don't know what I'm talking about, Get Olay body conditioner. When I first found out about Olay body conditioner, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Bro, it like it, it it was literally just the first time, right? I was like, bro, okay, okay. For everybody in who who if you if you, you need some money, if you, I remember it took me ten years to find that fire ass video I discovered when I was fifteen. And you had to get yourself out the way multiple times. You kept that shit saved, but nah, no, DSG Cheeto, it don't burn. It, it literally just feels smooth as... It make your skin feel smooth as fuck. No bullshit. 
If you plan on beating your shit for everybody in here, if you plan on beating your dick when you get out the shower, use Olay body conditioner. When you get out, you ain't got to use no lotion, no vitamin E oil. That's what I use. I don't use lotion to beat my shit. I use vitamin E oil. It moisturizes the hell out of my dick and it looks like really good. But it's, it's kind of noisy. But like if you only use body conditioner, that's all you need. But I was in the shower one time, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I was using the Olay body conditioner. I was like, oh shit, nigga. Bro, damn, nigga. Bro, I feel smooth as hell. I'm over there rubbing this shit on me. Yup, as soon as I got down there. Uh, yup, it was a wrap, nigga. I got down there. I was like... Because I, I laughed because I knew it was about to happen. It was literally just like this, right? I was like... Do you need some money? I didn't say that. I didn't, I, I didn't say I needed money. Thank you. Sarah J. Long ago, the corn queens lived in harmony. Then, everything changed when bro, the stepsisters attacked. Bro, no, not, it didn't, though. Not for me. I was still on Olivia or Lovely, Isla Fox, motherfucking, um, nigga Pinky, Beauty Dior, Roxy Reynolds, Sarah J, you already know, Lisa Ann, uh, Daphne Rosen with them big-ass motherfucking breasts, but when she was with the one nigga that be fucking dudes now, um... When when he, he I think he had a raincoat on and she did and then the nigga was squirting all at her and all types of shit and everything. Uh, Daphne Rosen with that one and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying she was, but like Daphne Rosen, her body just looked too fake. But it was like I liked the ass for some reason. I was a, a kid, so I just didn't care. There was just so much ass. But yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying it just it was real back then. You feel me? But yeah, let's uh, yo, Jasmine Cashmere, D knock. I ain't gonna hold you, did Jasmine Cashmere. She could have got all my money if Jasmine Cashmere sold pussy when I was younger. That, that sound crazy. Because I was about to say when I was a teenager, obviously she wouldn't have sold it to me. But like, yeah, because I don't buy pussy. But I'm just saying, if I did buy pussy, I would have definitely bought it from Jasmine Cashmere. Like, easily. And they were like very, very young. I'm pretty sure it was around three I or four. And they were basically Jasmine real siblings. The she only thing different was their parents and their blood. And Vanessa Blue, I would have I would have bought it. The the joint, I would have bought it from Jada Fire. I would have bought it from, uh, I would have bought it from uh, Jada Fire. I would have bought it from uh, Sky Black. I'd have bought it from Pinky, Jasmine Cashmere. Who else I'd have bought it from? Vanessa Blue. I'd have, I, I'd have bought it from uh, Sarah J. I, I'd have bought it Do from... you need uh, some money? When I recommend you look up Janice Hart, she's pretty valid. Why do you think I need to watch porn, bro? I don't need to watch porn, but nigga. Like, you do realize we're discussing my past right now? We ain't discussing what I go through right now, bro. I'm not, I'm gonna watch porn. I don't, uh, look, I don't, I don't watch porn stars. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. I don't watch porn stars. Nigga, I watch Twitter porn. Straight up, nigga. This is what it is. Nigga, I just, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly my game, bro. This is exactly how I find uh, the porn on Twitter, bro. Straight up, nigga. I go to Miss B Nasty page. I just go through her media. Find some shit where she wildin'. Click the retweets. Because likes don't show up anymore. All I got to do is find one motherfucker on there. And then I scroll down on any page and see how many thousands of tweets they have. If they have like 100, I right, ain't going to be too much on going on here. I check their page. It's a 6.7 thousand, 30,000, 100,000 tweets. Boom, found the page I needed. And that's really all it takes for me to just watch porn. And that's exactly what I do on Twitter. Like, I just go to Miss Be Nasty page, boom. You know what I'm saying? Find somebody who retweeted a lot of porn. Go over there, and that's it, bro. It's, it, it, it really be that simple. So, yeah, man. And, and that's just the game of how it goes. Do you need some money? Yeah, so, yeah. She's on Twitter, my nigga. I know who you talking about. It's the dark skin joint. I'm dark. You don't think I knew who she was, Vlad? Dog, I I ain't, I ain't no like porn nigga, but you don't think you ain't think I knew who she was? Nah, but Vlad, Vlad, I'm gonna tell you the guy honest truth because I know niggas gonna be like, oh my god, it's because you was watching porn. No, nigga, I dead didn't even know she did porn. You know how I found out who she was because everybody kept tagging me in her videos on Instagram saying before she got her pages deleted, er, it was funny ass Janice. Everybody kept saying, yo, bro, you sound like this. I mean, this girl sounds just like you. This girl, nigga, every day I was getting tagged in her videos every day by at least ten or twenty people. Every single day. So I'd always see it on my notifications. I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? I go to her links in her bio and it says she got a Twitter. And that was it. And it was a rap, nigga. And it was a rap, nigga. After that. <laughs> and that's how I found out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh shit. Cause yo, I didn't realize everybody kept thinking that she sounded like me. 
So yeah, but that that's just the game of how I went. Uh, my nigga Kazzy said I'm dark. I'll be popping on random. I got to uh, watch the slip and turn time. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I ain't really get to see too much of her. I saw the one video that, in her pen tweet, and I saw her sucking a dick one time on the thread, and that was about it. See, those two people are the prime example of what step siblings should be. Somebody you care about and somebody that you view as real family. Nothing more. That's crazy, less. Cheeto. That's Would y'all suck a bro. dick to save y'all mom's life? Yeah, I had. You see what I'm saying, bro? You got y'all, y'all young niggas, man. Y'all gotta learn to get to stop with all of these weird questions like this, man. Like, really? Actually said that. But if you want to see me say more wild shit, tap into the streams. See, I what else do you say that's wild that's not gay? I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and every single. I think you gotta blow your nose too. What time I stream? I say wilder and wilder shit. And if I said on you, if he says, if he says something else, I want to see if he says something else that ain't sus. Tube, I would probably get banned. Drake's dick. If y'all seen the link, watch. And then there's that. All right, so let's fast forward past the promo. Bye bye. Well, the second story is a little bit different. All right, peep. In this second story, I actually heard about on stream a long time ago. But I'm gonna basically just sum it up here. Before it, the second story, the guy who's the stepbrother in the situation is actually the one who told me this story. So I'm telling this story from his point of view. Keep that in mind. So the guy who we're gonna call Hoop was 15 when he became step siblings with his stepsister. She was around 17 to 18, I believe. And both. He got Clementine Negro nostrils. <laughs> Nigga, what? What the fuck, bro? And the way I pause it, it's like his nostrils are flaring out. Nigga, what the hell? Their parents married the later in their life. And they didn't even really know about each other until they moved in with each other. So about a couple of days after the girl <laughs> moved into Hoop's house, they were both home alone and just hanging out in the living room. Now you can go listen to the story on the live channel. I might not be giving the details 100% completely right. But all I know is that apparently this girl was attractive as hell. And the girl also thought Hoop was attractive. I know. I'm just going to keep it a thousand. Like, that's why I say, like, I can't do a step sibling. I can't. Bruh, if you just come into my life, I'm about 16 years old. You 16, you come over there and we over there thinking we, oh yeah, let's hang out. Fuck out of here. We're fucking. What the fuck? In-house pussy that I can fuck at all times? What the hell? You got me fuck? Our parents going to work? We fucking the entire time they going. Easy. That's the easiest. Place. You got me fucked up. Of course. So I'm once they realized that the they hell? were both home alone, it didn't damn. take that Gots long to. for them both Gots to, to get a certain idea in their heads. Apparently, they wanted to take advantage of their newfound freedom, and apparently, they took advantage of this with each other. The crazy part about it is the old girl had a boyfriend too. Now, I don't think he ever found out about that shit either. Now from what Hoop told me, apparently they continued to uh, exercise their freedoms multiple times throughout their whole tenure of being step siblings. But eventually their parents did divorce. She moved out and after that, Hoop never spoke to her again, I think. Uh, he may have fucked her one more time. I don't know. But hearing both of those stories really made me realize something. There's really two realities on the whole step sibling thing. There's one reality where y'all treat each other like real siblings even though y'all aren't related by blood and there's another reality where they just treat each other like fuck buddies both could be beneficial i i, I want the fuck buddy one i'm not gonna hold you I, if i if i have a step something i i i, I want to fuck yep uh, yeah, yeah. This just is what it is. Depending on what is being beneficial. Unless we grew up I really together. wanted to tell y'all that second story to really emphasize that that step sibling shit actually does happen. And whether you find that shit weird or not, there's clearly an audience for these types. I'm still trying to figure out what is this. Videos. Through all of my research, this is why I feel like step sibling videos are so popular because we fucking love that shit. But in conclusion, guys, stop watching. Especially step sister porn. Not finna magically get Ain't a hot step sis. And if you do, you shouldn't try to fuck her because it's more. You should. I can't stop y'all because I would. It, there's no way in hell I'm not going to fuck my hot stepsister. I'm gonna try my hardest. Like seriously, I can't tell. I can't get on here and tell y'all not do that. Like, yo, hold on, hold on. DSG, is this a meme right here? Is this a meme right here? Am I tripping or is this a meme? Is this a meme right here? I think, I think we got one. Somebody want to screenshot this? I, that's a meme, right? That's a meme right there, ain't it? That's a meme. I like that's that's a nice, that's a nice one. I think we can do that. With somebody go ahead, somebody go ahead and get that for me real quick. Somebody go ahead and get that for me real quick. Yeah, you know, and that's definitely a nice little meme right there. All right. Really wrong. Stop being a horny person. Go outside. There's billions and billions of women outside. Stop being lazy and just walking five steps and go experience a real shit. If I could walk five steps and I'm Drew Hill, you got me fucked up. The fuck? This nigga tripping. 
Nigga, see, you trying to get nigga, you trying to deter niggas from fucking their stepsisters. Fuck I look like, bro. I'm finna take five steps and go fuck. This nigga tripping, bro. What the hell you talking about? This five steps away. I'm finna go fuck something. What wrong with this nigga, man? Women. Go outside, touch some grass. There's too many girls out here to be fucking your stepsis, man. It's too not, many... it's it's not though. It's not though. W video though. Shout out to iCloud, man. Shout out to him. I'm gonna subscribe to bro this time, man. Shout out to him, man. Yo, shout out to him on some real shit, bro. Shout out to him, bro. Thank you for giving us this video right, child. You hear me? Thank you for giving us this video, nigga. Mm -hmm. Cozy Hendrix, there's millions of bitches out here, and you need to crack you don't need to crack your steps. Yes, you do. It's right there though. That's the thing. It's right there. It's so close. Why not do that? You know what I'm saying? Fuck on with you, nigga. Why not do that? I sent it to your Twitter. Thank you, MMA fan. Appreciate that, my nigga. Thank you. Because you know I needed that right there. You know what I'm saying? I definitely needed that, nigga. I definitely needed that one. <laughs> this nigga has a car. I just sent it to me, bro. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> bro. <laughs> this shit look funny as fuck, nigga. This nigga has a car. Yo, thank you. Hezekiah, I appreciate that, nigga. Thank you. Thank you, nigga. Oh, my God, bro. This nigga Hezekiah, dog. Really, nigga? 